Welcome everyone back to Team Modex, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to how to uh, how to make a a video game like uh, Clash of Clans. So and, uh, as you already see, I'm using right now the Autodesk 3D Max software, which is used to create the game items you see while playing the Clash of Clans, like uh, like towers, uh, mortars, and cannons. And uh, as you already know, that um, Clash of Clans are not a 3D game; it's an isometric game. But the game items have been created using the 3D Max. Uh, the items have been uh, created in uh, in 3D softwares, and then those uh, kind of all the 3D ta towers and cannons and mortars are uh, being exported exported as a 2D images. So. Let me show you what I what I mean by that. So let's create a 3D cannon, for example. Let's draw the box like this. Let's give it a gray uh, material. Now we're gonna use the cylinder to give the the cannon uh, look. I'm gonna create some massive um, looking cannon just for the purposes of this tutorial. Let's give the end uh, a hole, extrude it in, and just collapse and drag this in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by uh, uh, isometric. All, all the items in Clash of Clans have been created uh, exactly like this, and then uh, pre-rendered. Okay, I'm gonna call this guy finished, and now I wanna show you the how actually the images have been done for the Clash of Clans. As you already see, this is the actual 3D uh, 3D model, and that's how it's done inside the Clash of Clans. And let me grab the camera 
target camera and place it like like this And this is how it's done. Let me go into the camera and change the field of view. Like this. So this is the 3D asset that's uh, created inside the 3ds Max. And what Clash of Clans do is they pre-render all their 3D, 3D art. So it kind of look like this, um, and then we, and we are done. I mean, this is the just basic uh, a basic render, but this is how the game actually have been created using just still images, and most of them are also animated and then pre-rendered. So, if you want to learn more about uh, making games and modding games, feel free to check another uh, tutorials on on this channel. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to, to answer all your uh, questions. Check another videos and hope to see you uh, hope to see you on another, uh, another videos.